This probably is the craziest and most innovative LLM fine tuning that I've ever seen. I'm not sure about the practical application, but this is absolute genius. The hackathon that happened recently for Mistral, Mistral AI, the company that ran the hackathon, the first winner, the top prize winner of that hackathon, fine-tuned Mistral 7 billion parameter model on Doom game. If you are like very old at this point, probably you know that there was a very popular game called Doom and you used to play, shoot people, this is what the game used to be. So they have taken Doom and fine-tuned Mistral on Doom. And now you might be wondering, hey, Mistral is a large language model. It's not a multimodal model, so it cannot understand images. So how the heck did they fine-tune this? And the answer is very simple. The answer is, if you have seen The Matrix, the movie The Matrix, you know that everybody looks in The Matrix, looks at The Matrix, looks into The Matrix, and they don't see the image, they see the matrix. And that matrix is something like an ass character. And that is exactly what they have done. They have taken every single frame of Doom and they have made the ASCII representation of that. And for every object in Doom, they have given a character. And that is how the ASCII representation is created. And now finally, voila, we have an LLM that can play Doom just a large language model it can play doom just by understanding the ascii representation it's almost like the matrix and in this video i want to quickly touch upon that and then you know showcase the product or the amazing project that they've built we don't have the source code we don't have anything else but it's mind-blowing what people have managed to do so first of all how does the architecture look like the architecture is like this You've got the game engine, uh, Doom, and um, the game engine has got frames of the games and uh, the frames of the games are generated when the game is being played and uh, that is converted into ASCII character and that has now gone into this LLM state. Now there are two things, how are they doing fine tuning? One is the user action, so I think the fine tuning that they've done is like move left, move right, move forward, move backward, and then attack. So these are the actions on which they have uh, fine-tuned it. It's possible that I miss something, but primarily move forward, move backward, move left, move right, and attack, like shoot or fire. And uh, they have used user action and uh, they have done the predicted action. Like that's, that's ideally what the LLM is doing. The LLM is going to given the scenario or scene of the frame it is going to tell you what to do one of these actions move forward move backward move left move right or shoot these are the actions and what is the prompt the prompt is you are the doom ai assuming the role of a demon slayer in a grid environment represented by ascii characters understand each character as follows You've got E, enemy, P, player, B, bullet, W, wall, F, floor, A, armor. And then you've got like certain bonus characters, a zombie man, health, and a stim pack. And the LLM is going to tell you what to do and it itself plays Doom. You can have a chat, like one of the things that they had is like you can have a chat and ask question, but it itself can play Doom. This is by these three guys. Um, their team is called Unity Quest. I got this from DevPost. It's completely amazing what they have built. To quickly show you a demo that they have shared, so you can see here, the game starts and uh, you can see that Doom is playing, like being played by Mistral. Uh, the query is sent to Doom Mistral 7 billion, the model that they have built, and the LLM gives you action. Okay, attack, move forward, turn left, uh, turn right, and attack, and it understands the state. So you can see the frames are sent to this and it understands what the current frame is from the ASCII representation. And you can also see the letters. So you can see that P is there. I think P is player. I'm not sure what is F. Is there F? Okay, F is floor. And based on that, you can see the ASCII representation of what is in the screen, the object, and then it works. What is surprising for me is like, first of all, somebody thought that they can do this thing. I'm not, I'm not sure if I've seen any ASCII 
fine tuning before like i i know like people are uh, very interested in getting ascii out of large language model for jailbreaking that is like a very common thing that has been happening but i've not seen anybody using ascii for fine tuning that is very surprising for me first place and the second place it actually works like first of all having an idea is one thing but an idea that actually works is another thing and i wanted to actually make this video primarily because this actually works which is beyond uh, beyond my comprehension so you have maybe it's because of the characters that they are using like the p the b w um, the actual letter that they are using to represent the character in the ascii representation maybe that is what is giving the signal to the large language model what action to decide uh, because like imagine like you have a wall like if your wall is highly represented in the given frame it is going to suggest either turn left or turn right because it has to get out of the wall in the same way if you see let's say an enemy e e is highly represented in the given frame then it is going to obviously ask you to attack uh, which is it's going to ask you to attack or shoot so i can like conceptually now understand in the hindsight like if you are told me like one week back like you can do this thing i would have been skeptical but in the hindsight i can probably understand why this works but it is still um pretty amazing to see that somebody can take the game and uh, turn into ascii representation fine tune a uh, not like a big large language model like a 7 billion parameter large language model and that ultimately actually works in predicting how the game would go what you have to do and to the fact that it itself can play the game and that is unbelievably brilliant and um, i guess like uh, this is going to bring in a lot of innovation i'm not sure how much of vision language model can be adapted through this thing because a lot of times in a vision language model you need more better representation than just having an ascii representation but there are a lot of places like for example games and other things like just for hobby you can have an ascii representation and somehow i cannot get my thought out of the matrix uh, when you see the matrix for the first time you would know that it is all those green color letters falling and uh, i'm not sure how much of this is like like that and uh, it's quite uh, quite amazing to see somebody managed to fine tune doom on mistral 7 million and they also i think deservedly won the first prize so if you have any questions i'll link all the resources that i have used also a couple of players twitter account in the youtube description please check it out otherwise see you in another video happy prompting